Well, this Friday and Saturday, the Wausau Community Development Club, they're hosting the 54th annual Wausau Possum Festival over in Washington County. News for teens, Ethan Logue and some possums alive in <laughs> Wausau this morning, filling us in on everything you need to know. Good morning, Ethan. Good morning, guys, and that's right, 54 years. That's how long the annual Wausau Possum Festival has been going on right here in Washington County. It doesn't really get any better than that. There's possums, there's activities, there's games, and there's even auctions going on. So here to talk to us a little bit about an auction and some stuff that's being given away is James Wals Walsingham. So James, what is being given away and how can people enter uh, this auction? Oh, wow. Uh, what I want to introduce you, this is the ladies that are part of the quitting club here at, at Wausau. They meet every Tuesday and the meetings run from whenever they want to get there Tuesday to around 3 o'clock. They do a potluck and they hand make these, uh, these beautiful quilts. Uh, this is the Carpenter's Star. In uh, one of the auctions about two years ago, this thing, their quilt went for $2,000. Wow. And uh, that was before inflation. So uh, I'm asking, uh, we're trying to get some competition going here. And there's a number you can call in if you can't make the auction. But we can, uh, you can do a silent auction. If you'll give me your name and how much that you're willing to bid on this thing, we'll put you uh, in the, the running for the, the uh, auction. Uh, my uncle, which was out on Alvin's Island, he was uh, the king bid on this thing for a long time. But we want to bring back that, top, uh, that competition. There's one guy that's been uh, buying these things for a while, but he needs a little competition. Uh, these ladies, uh, everything that they bring in on uh, this auction goes to uh, the Sheriff's Department, Camp Council on Aging. Also, uh, they support the library and the nursing home. Uh, the sheriff's department. So uh, they do a lot of good for the community. It's, uh, this, this thing's been going on for over, I know, as long as I've been alive. Uh, it's all the ladies in the area, and they're always looking for members to come out and uh, support them. Now, I also hear there's a new event coming that you haven't had in a few years uh, that people can come out and see on Saturday. Is that correct? Oh, yes, and that's the donkey ball game. And now we're not make-believe donkeys. We're talking about live donkeys that are going to come in from up north we're going to be lined up on this field, and the donkeys are the big part of the game. you got to ride the donkey to, after you hit the ball. you got to field the donkey with the ball. But uh, you can just imagine that i got a bunch of people on, uh, in two teams riding donkeys, and uh, uh, this is a history that's been going on. Uh, 20, over 20 years ago, we had a donkey game, and it went on for a bunch of years up to that point. We stopped it. So there's a lot of talk about J.J. the Possum. You just met him in one of the segments. He's our Possum King. He's the home, uh, hometown group uh, facing uh, the first responders, which we call them the hometown heroes. We want you to come out. Uh, that, uh, we have a pregame that starts at 6 p.m., and the game starts at 7 prompt. But come on out and watch the game. I know I'll be there in attendance on Saturday for sure. Can't miss Donkey Baseball. I mean, I've never even heard of that. Sounds like an absolutely great time. And again, the festival, the Wausau Possum Festival, is this Friday and Saturday right here in the center of town. Guys?